Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing another Shop My Stash Saturday. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be going through the products I used last week and what I thought of them and pick new products to use this week. This week we're going to focus on Project Pan items, so foundations and highlights for sure. And I think that is all. There is a foundation I've been thinking about the past uh, few days. So I'm like, let me try it out. It is a full coverage foundation, so I don't know how much I'll really like it. But I don't know. I've just been really thinking about it, so I want to use it. So we won't be picking that foundation, but I'm really going to try to focus on my Project Pan foundations because I have two more weeks before I film my update. I have two Project Pans going on, and in both of them, I have foundations. So again, I need to use up some foundations, give some good progress for you guys in those videos. So if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. I do upload three times a week, Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. Let's just go ahead and jump right in. So for foundation this week, I have this Tarte Found Sealer. It's a multitasking foundation. It has SPF 20. I have one in the shade Light Medium Sand. I mentioned last week that I had returned my Tarte Face Tape and exchanged it for this one because I've heard really good things about it. And I'm super glad I picked this up. This is beautiful on the skin. It's like light, medium, more like medium coverage. Um, and I really enjoyed it. I really like it. It doesn't look heavy on the skin until I get to like the eight, nine hour mark, obviously it's gonna look heavy and nasty on my face, but throughout the day, it looks super pretty. I tried this with a translucent powder. I tried it with my Maybelline Fit Me powder and I liked it both ways. So this is definitely a better foundation than the face tape. And I like that you twist this and the pump goes down. So this is perfect for traveling. It has an airless pump. So you know exactly how much foundation you have left. And yeah, I like this foundation way better than face tape. So yeah, I like it. Pick it up if you're wanting something medium coverage. And I did use this today. I did leave it in um, from last week just to kind of test it out a little more and see what I thought of it. To be honest, today was the only day I used it. And I've had this foundation or skin tint on for seven hours. When I first put it on, it looks super pretty. But right now, it just looks like it's sitting on my skin. It doesn't look heavy yet, but I'm sure in a few more hours it will look heavy on. So again, I'm just going to leave this in another week, try to use it up. I want to use this with the translucent powder and also blend it out with my uh, sponge. I feel like I barely get coverage with a brush, so with the sponge I think it's going to be even worse. This is good if you just want to even out your skin tone. If you don't have any acne scars, nothing, and you're just trying to even out maybe take away a some redness that you may have, I think this is good. But for me, I do have really dark um, um, acne scars right now, and it doesn't cover them. Like you can see them of it. I wasn't a big fan of it last week, and today it's it's okay. It actually, look, it didn't look bad. I used it with the Fit Me powder, and it didn't look bad. I also did have this Too Faced Peach Mist Mattifying Setting Spray, mattifying setting spray, and I didn't shake it up like it says right here to do, and I just sprayed it one day, and I had white dots all over my face and my chest, and I was like, what the heck happened here? And then I saw this, and I was like, oh, that makes sense. So I shook it up real good. And yeah, this works really well. I do feel like it does really mattify my skin. And I was telling a friend um, a few days ago that I'm getting older. I am 30. I don't know if you guys know that, but I am 30. I'm going to be 31 this year. Actually, my birthday is next month. But I'm finding that I used to love mattifying foundations and right now I feel like I need to try to look for like glowy foundations just because again my, my skin is aging. I'm not I'm not in my 20s. I'm still early 30s but still like I feel like matte foundations or matte setting sprays don't look on, so good on me anymore. So I am going to start I think buying glowy primers just because again I just feel like my skin needs something because it, it just looks really matte and I don't know I'm just not liking how foundation is looking on my skin so I definitely need to make some adjustments on my skin and I believe everything else in here is project pan items I don't think I put anything up there that isn't part of the uh, this shop my stash so I did put this in here it's been living over here if you guys wondering this whole thing lives in my restroom so um this is just like hydrating lip products um and my lash glue my lash applicator this concealer um lives in here as well to cut my crease it's pretty much like lippy products for night and morning time so that usually lives in there and i had this in there as well but um i decided to put it over here so i wouldn't forget to talk about it because usually i don't talk about stuff that's in here 
Um, so I was saying, um, this is the Sol de Janeiro, the Brazilian Kiss Lip Butter. Um, this was sent to me by Octoly and Sol de Janeiro. Janeiro, I think it's what, how you say it. Sol de Janeiro. And this is, again, a lip butter. This is kind of like a big, like, glue stick type. It's not a glue stick, obviously, but... So I have a love-hate with this. I'm not sh I, I don't love it. But I don't hate it. Like, I don't feel like it's super moisturizing on my lips, to be honest. It does add some hydration, but I don't think it's, like, the most hydrating lip product that I've ever applied to my lips. I don't hate it again, but I don't love it. It's kind of in between for me. And, yeah, those are my thoughts on this. I'm pretty bummed because I've heard good things about this. But for me and my lips, they're super dry. I don't really find that it helps a lot for my dry lips. Oh, and I want to mention, I had the Jaclyn Hill lippies in here as well, and I ended up sending those back. Um, I had the Nude Tease Trio, and again, my lipsticks were fine. They looked fine. They didn't do anything besides Hot Toddy was starting to tilt because it was extra creamy compared to the other two. But I just didn't feel comfortable applying it to my lips with everything going on with those. And Jaclyn did come out with a statement, you know, and she gave us all... Not excuses, but the reasons why there's stuff in some people's lippies. And again, I just didn't feel comfortable. Um, you know, when you got the slip, packing slip, it did have like a return address. If you weren't satisfied, you can mail your products too. So that's what I did. I packaged it up and mailed it out. So I only have two products to swatch for you guys. So this one's the Dose of Colors uh, Liquid Lipstick in Berry Me. I really like that. I love the color. And this one is Hot Fire by Dose of Colors. It was in collab with Desi and Katie. And I applied this to my lips and I took it off because this is just way too bright for work, I feel. So what I did was apply it as eyeliner and it worked out really well. I had a few compliments on it. So we're going to put those away finally. I also did use this Ardency and Monster in Grass. It's just like a really pretty grass green color for my waterline. I did use that. Um, I also did line my lips with this ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Grind. I use this in my waterline. I do use ColourPop Lippy Pencils in the waterline. I don't have... Nothing happens, you know, it's fine for me. You know, you can do it as well, but do it at your own risk. Don't blame me if something happens. So I'm just saying I do use these and they work out really well. So I use this with my Dose of Colors liquid lipstick and it just made it more opaque. I find that that liquid lipstick shade kind of applies a little patchy. So um, I definitely worked out really well when I used it with this lip liner. And this one in MAC engraved PowerPoint eye pencil. I didn't use it, so maybe we can leave that in there. Um, this is the Brow Food Aqua Brow Powder and Pencil Duo, and I did use this. So you got a brow pencil in this little thing, and then you got the brow powder in here, and I did enjoy it. It was pretty cool. I liked it. It's pretty nifty. I did enjoy this, so I obviously use this every single day. We're going to put that away. I used this a few times, and I feel like it's running out, so I'm going to leave that in there. For mascara, I had the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara. And I like this mascara. The only thing I did find by the end of the day, it started to kind of transfer on my lower lash line, like my under eye area, it works under my eyes. So I'm kind of considering decluttering this, but I think I'm going to use it a few more. I'm not going to put it away, but we might pick a new mascara to use. And then this one, the Hard Candy Stroke of Gorgeous in Anchor, I believe. It's a gray felt tip liner i didn't use this either so we're gonna leave that in there and then this abh clear brow gel lives in there so we'll leave it in there as well in this next drawer i had my hourglass ambient lighting edit palette and i really enjoy this the shades are really pigmented i mix both of these because this is kind of bright and this is kind of like not super bright so i just been mixing both of the shades i did mix these top shades as highlight and i also actually applied these shades on my under eyes i didn't use it to set my like concealer but i just kind of applied it on my under eye area because i had a friend tell me that she likes to use it to kind of just kind of give a glow to her skin and i kind of want to leave this in another week because i want to use these out more for my face just again because i've been using i only use it today for my um, under eye area because I was telling her that my under eyes look kind of dry lately and again it's just like my skin just doesn't feel like it has a lot of life with like matte products so I want to use that another week for primer this week I had the cover effects blurring primer and I feel like this is mattifying it did kind of blur 
but I felt like it was more mattifying than blurring. But we are going to put this away and pick a new product to use. Um, this kind of eye stick, I can't figure out how to use this. I did apply on my under eyes a couple of days and I just felt like it was tugging on my under eyes. I don't know how, much, how I feel about that. Uh, I think I might leave it in another week though. Um, the It Cosmetics Concealer. Um, this is the Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. I have mine in the shade. This is medium, but it's a, it's light medium down here. A little bit goes a long way. I did apply some to the under eyes a few days ago and it looks super heavy and cakey. And then I was reading my comments and somebody said, you'll see how much this $10 concealer lasts, like this mini. She's like, cause a little bit goes a long way. And she's definitely right cause today I used a little amount and yeah, it goes a long way. I did like this. I do find that this shade is a little too light for my liking. It's okay, um, but we're gonna put that away. Bare Minerals Bronzer in Faux Tan. I picked this up because Kathleen Lights has been raving about this and she mentioned this in her favorites. I do find that this is kind of a little too pigmented so you have to be light handed because it can get a little crazy. Like I did find that one day I had like a helmet head <laughs> with the bronzers so you got to be careful with that. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I don't like this. I don't like it for the under eyes, for the whole face. I didn't like it either. I feel like it gives me like a white cast. And I've had this powder for a while, so I think I'm just going to declutter this. I think I'm just going to throw away the inside part because, again, I've had it for years. And I'm just going to use the outer packaging to, like, travel maybe and put, like, loose powder in here. So we are going to declutter that because I don't like it. This is the Bare Minerals Concealer Powder in Well Rested. This is the second product I've had from of this and I like it it's really brightening if you need a little like help me up like your corrector you correct it and your concealer still not covering your dark circles which does happen to me uh, I did apply this just kind of in the inner part of the under eye area and it does brighten I really like this for highlight I have this AOA Wonder Beauty Baked Highlighter in Snap this is nice I don't find that it like swatches the greatest but and it's not like super blinding either and I just swatched it on my hand you can't even see it but I applied this on my uh for highlight today this is Laura Geller Gilded Honey this is in my project pan so this will be staying in and then this is also in my project pan Mary Luminizer but I was saying I applied Gilded Honey on my cheekbones for highlight today and then I applied this on just like the top parts and it looked really pretty so we're gonna put that away I also really been enjoying this sculpt and glow model by models own I don't think models own exists anymore right I thought they had like a lot of their palettes at Marshalls and TG Maxx this is in deep glow this was gifted to me by my friend Stacy if you're watching this hey girl <laughs> but um yeah she gifted this to me and I actually really enjoy it I have foundation samples that are still chilling in there I did use these Laura Mercier the flawless perfecting foundation one time this week and yeah this other product in there is project pen so that just lives in there this is the elf saint lucia blush bronzer duo and i find that the blush you can barely see it on my skin i really have to pack it onto my cheeks it's a really pretty shade to my cheeks and this one i don't know if i used it or not. i think one day i like mixed both of them i used this as bronzer before but we're gonna put this away for highlight, every time I use this, my highlight was really nice and blinding. This is a beautiful palette. Really like this palette. Definitely would recommend. And then I had two Soph X eyeshadow palettes as well. This one is the Extra Spice palette. Here's what this palette looks like. I used this today on my lids. I used these two shades in my crease. I used this on the outer corners and I applied that to my lids. I feel like this, like the shimmer shade doesn't look super intense, but this is an affordable palette. It, it still looked nice. I do like this palette. And then I also did have the other collab, which was the first collab by Soph X and Makeup Revolution. I don't think this has a name compared to the other one. And here's what that one looks like. You had more variety in this shade, like more neutral shades and a few pops of color. You definitely have more like, like everyday shades in this palette. Um, I do like this one as well. So from both, I think I prefer the extra spice, but I still really like this one too. So I think those are all the products that I had in this week's Shop Mustache. We are going to leave this in there another week because I do want to kind of use it on my face. And we're going to leave this in another week and kind of use it and see. I might declutter that. So so now let's just go ahead and shop my stage. So we're back over here in my new makeup drawers. They shouldn't have more than what you saw from last time. And when I did my giveaway, my giveaway winner did receive her prizes. She messaged me today. 
but yeah um this has been chilling in my sample drawer in my restroom for the longest time and i'm like i want to try it out so since i do have that pat mcgrath fetish eyes i want to test this out this might be dried out so who knows but we're gonna take this for mascara this week and then since i touched this i should probably use it um this is the mac pro longwear paint pot in soft ochre i bought this during the 21 days of beauty steals I haven't used this in years. I picked it up again during the sale and it was half off. So we'll take that. I've also heard really good things about this. This has been chilling in here for a while. So let's go ahead and use it. This is the Too Faced Tutti Fruity Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo in Stro Strawberry. <laughs> so we'll use this for blush. Look, I have a few little samples here. Oh, I got this as free. This is a little sample as well. I do have a makeup haul that <laughs> I will be filming. Oh my gosh, you guys. Um, yeah, I may be going into this drawer. And then I actually have this palette chilling over here. This is the Certified Affinity palette. And I've only used it once. I created one look. And I haven't posted my picture on um, Instagram yet. If you're not following my Instagram, definitely follow it. But this is the Certified, again, Affinity, Affinity palette. How beautiful is this palette? We're definitely going to use this palette this week. And then... This is a primer, Radiance Concentrate. Let's go ahead and use this. I've been saying that I want like luminous skin. So this is Radiant Concentrate with Pure Gold Makeup Base by Guerlain. Um, yeah, we're going to use this for primer this week. In here I have more uh, new makeup. I'm going to go ahead and take this bright blush here. This is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush in... Oh, always fiery. This is going to be very bright. I'm going bright with these blushes, you guys. So crazy. And is there anything else I'd like to use in here? Let's go ahead and use this. This is the Dose of Colors lip gloss in the shade Jazzy. You guys, like, I don't wear lips, lip gloss a lot, but how pretty is this color? I got it because it was like an everyday type of color. So again, this is in Jazzy. So we're going to take that. And I think that is going to be it from in here. I actually have had these for a while and I should probably use them too. So this is the Sofax collection when the Extra Spice came out. And I got syrup and cake. So I'm going to use these as well. And we should be good on lipsticks. Okay, so the foundation I've been kind of thinking about this week. For some reason, I don't like full coverage foundations for everyday use. Is been has been this one by Maybelline. This is the Super Stay Full Coverage um, foundation. I have mine in the shade 128 Warm Nude. I don't know. I've just been thinking about this foundation. I saw somebody use it and I was like, I haven't used that in a while. So let me go ahead and use it so i just still have my cart but it's kind of falling so we'll just stick it right there and i said that we we're going to use an illuminating oh hopefully the primer is not too illuminating <laughs> so this is the catrice eliminate prime and fine dewy glow fixing spray so this is what we're going to use to spray the face um this week so so this first drawer is concealer, brows, and mascara. We don't need mascara. We do need brows, a brow product. So let's go ahead and use this Joa Beauty Brow Pencil. And I'm also going to take this. This is a brow powder, I believe. Yep, Perfect Fill Brow Powder from Absolute New York. This is in the shade, I have no idea. I think it's like brunette or dark brown. But we're going to take these two. And then for concealer, I have a Tarte Shape Tape that's in my project pen. I think I'm just going to use that. And that is actually right here. Like all, A lot of these products are project pen items and this is in a project pen. So maybe I should focus. I'm going to use that for concealer this week. Just because we're focusing on project pen items, so. Primer, I have the Guerlain one, but I'm kind of feeling like we should get, like, a regular one as well, just in case. Um, let's use this one. This is the Origins Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer with Willow Herb. It's been a few since I've used this, so we can take this for primer too. For powder this week, oh, I have... A loose powder in my project pen and a pressed powder in my project pen. So 
those two powders I'll be taking for this week. And then bronzer. Do I have any bronzer? I don't think so. Let's take this. This is the Laura Mercier Bronze in 02. This is a sample. And it's just like a luminous bronzer. I like it. So we can take this for bronzer. And then I think I want to take this. This is the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. Chanel? Um, my friend Stacy gave this to me and it's been a while since I've used it. So I want to see if it's still good to use. Hopefully it's not dried out. So we'll take that as well. For blush, we need a neutral because we have a bright orange and a bright pink. So we definitely need a neutral blush. Maybe we can use one of these LA Girl ones. Or even one of these, like Toasted Cinnamon. What is this? Peach, I think. Fair Peach. We can use this one. Should we use Fair Peach or Toasted Cinnamon? Let's use Fair Peach. Um, again, by Bart Spies. Down here, I have highlight. Do I have any highlight? I don't think so. What should we, oh, we're going to go ahead and pick like ColourPop highlights that are back here. I'm going to take Flexitarian. I find that this is kind of light for me and kind of glittery also, but we're going to take this. And then we're also going to take these two are like dual chromes, but we're going to take this other one back here by Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. This is on the cusp, so we're going to take these two highlights for this week. And that should be good. And then down here is liners. We need a black liner. Let's go with Fan Eater by Tarte. And we have a black. Let's take this. I've really been enjoying like vibrant liners in the waterline. So we're going to take this LA Girl Neon Liner. This is actually a lip liner in the shade Fiery. But we're going to use it. Maybe this lavender one too. This one's by Ardency Inn in the shade Lilac. I do want to pick another eyeshadow palette just because I don't know if I just want like purples and reds for this coming week. I do have my Lorac palette that I could be working on as well. So hmm, I wonder if I should do that instead. So yeah, I'm just going to use a Certify and then I also have the Lorac too. I wanted to pick another palette, but I really need to get more progress on my shadows. I do have pan on like two or three shades, so I'm not doing too bad on my palette for my project pan. So yeah, well, I guess we'll just skip picking another eyeshadow palette this week. Okay, so everything is in my acrylic case. My foundation is right here. My illuminating facial sprays right here. We're going to leave the FAB tint again. And next week for sure, we got to decide whether we want to keep that or not. Or the next few weeks, because I'm going to try to focus on Project Pan foundation. So I don't know if I'll use this. It'll be living here for a little bit. So in here, as usual, liners, mascara, lippies. And talking about mascara, I wanted to see the wand. So I was going like this and nothing was coming. So I kind of pulled it. Look how big this wand is, plus it's kind of weird how it just opens up. And I looked inside, probably can't tell. Yeah, there's no light going in there. But that's so weird. What a weird sample. And I kind of feel like this is dried out. I don't know. I guess we'll tell next week. Um, but I did swatch the lippies. This is the Jazzy Lip Gloss from Dose of Colors. This is the Syrup Lipstick by Sofax and Makeup Revolution. This is Cake. And then I also decided to pick this, but this is kind of dark for summertime, but whatever. This is the Rouge um, ColourPop Matte Ultra Matte Lip. This is Lilac. And then the other one that I picked out. And then down here in this drawer, I have complexion products, primers, blush, my hourglass. And I wanted to show you guys what this strawberry look like. Look how pink this is. I don't go for this types of blushes, these type of blushes. So this will be very unique to my collection. I, again, I don't have very many blushes that are that color. So I don't know, you guys. And then down in the drawer, it's kind of lonely, but I have highlighter, my paint pot, and then my eyeshadow palette, and then this Soleil, Sol de Chanel, what is this? Soleil Tan de Chanel. Jesus, so fancy. But yeah, those are all the products we're going to be using this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!